whatever, but never like leather like while having sex. So that's something uh, I want to try personally. Definitely do it. Um, yeah, I've heard it's like it's, it's awesome. amazing. Yeah, I want to get like a leather suit. Yes. But <laughs> yeah, so when I saw you, I was just like, wow. Um, I probably I didn't even think that you were gay. I thought you were just like a guy out in leather. So I was very fascinated, and that's why I have pictures of you on my website. <laughs> um, Cause I, like I said, I was just. I was intrigued. I kind of knew about the community a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I figured it was a dom and stuff. I just didn't know. Um, oh, and something else. Can you explain the difference to anyone from furry fandom to cult? Because I thought it was the same. And um, I mean, there can definitely be a crossover there. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not very familiar with furry culture. Um, typically, when I see furries presented, it, they're in a suit that's made mostly of fur. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. So... Yeah. And I call myself a leather pup, so most of my outfits are usually geared towards having either a leather harness, my hood is definitely leather, mm -hmm. like I went out of the way to make the extra purchase. You can find hoods in neoprene and other fabrics. Neoprene is usually good for the ones that are into water sports. Mm -hmm. uh, not my thing, so I don't really need that, but leather has always just been a good good connotation for me like you just feel masculine in it yes that's and, exactly like when i saw it, it I was like, yeah <laughs> it's really nice very much and yeah. to to touch on that that sense of otherness like and this is going to sound rude so i do apologize to all my drag queen friends um drag queens are a dime a dozen like i love you guys and it's a lot of work and i definitely respect that but it's not something i wanted to be a part of some anymore i wanted to be something other and I definitely notice now, especially going out to predominantly drag-inspired events, that my otherness catches much more attention than all the queens. Because you get lost in all the wigs and all the makeup and all the personalities, and then all of a sudden there's this guy in a puff hood. What is this? Yes. <laughs> it, it's, it, it creates that sense of intrigue where people are like, I want to find out. And you're so nice. Like, oh, you're I think you. very nice in costume. I've seen you, like, at, you're just, you're a sweetheart. So. Well, yeah, because, like I said, with the hood, the anonymity of it, it allows me to be more flirtatious. Um, there's, there's less stigma for me, I guess, to just approach somebody or bark at somebody and just come up and be like, pet me, you know, because I'm a pup. I want to be petted. Like, 